No answer. We wasted our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. The walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't. 
that name? What does he say to you, Blake, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! no! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall Nathaniel. defend you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire, and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would've just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. <laughs> Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start.
This is Bowles. Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. Hello, little cutie. Huh? You looking for your mama? Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh, shit. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this. And this. And this. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. There, I've done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. But luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha.
Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Okay, how do you do this again? There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. I guess I better warm this thing up. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Oh, sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm.